Ahoy mateys! It has been quite a long time. I want to show you our demo. So, as you can not hear, we don't have music in our demo. We are adding it last and it will be in our final game. So, I'm going to play as myself. I'm going to play as a woman. And we have the original faces, but uh, this is my skin tone. <laughs> and as you can see, our diamond options are outlined in gold, but of course, we don't pay for them because if we did, uh, we will be sued. <laughs> so everything, all the diamond options are free, of course. And we do have the original hairstyles. And we do plan on adding more. And this also goes for the same, this is the same for the uh, male MC. So that's what I look like. That's what my hair color is. And we have all of these outfits. So I'm going to do this one. <laughs> and yes, it's perfect. And I'm going to use my real name. And if I was not playing this on the internet, I would use my real last name. But since I don't want to give out my real last name, I will use Grey Joy. Now, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, House Grey Joy are the pirates of Westeros. <laughs> And we have all the Eds. So this was my Ed. Now, we know we're probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but this is a single LI book. The reason why we have a single LI book is simply due to logistics reasons i mean it's we're a very small team and we just can't have mc just going back and forth between allies plus it's it's more romantic when it's just a single ally book and the majority of ds fans know who they want anyway from at least what the information that we've gathered so, am I an Ed Head? Am I a Charlie Chap? Or am I a Jolly Ollie? I am an Ed Head. <laughs> now, here is where we have to fill in everybody that was in our captain's cabin. So, for this, I filled up my captain's cabin so Jonas stayed she stayed my parrot stayed and I named her Nirvana and the reason why is because uh, Polly is a Nirvana song so it's a play on words Kenny stayed and let's go <laughs> okay now that we got all that out of the way Chapter one, the return. It has been two years since you defeated Admiral Cochrane and closed the portal, sealing your fate back in the year where you last left off in your life. Since then, your life has gotten better. An ensemble part, not bad. And better. Another understudy part, hey, is better. 
and you're living comfortably in a modest apartment in Soho trying a new skill. For those of you that do not know New York City, Soho is an artsy part of Manhattan. And since if you can't tell from my accent, um, New York City is my backyard. So I just, we, we just made her a Broadway star simply because I know New York City. <laughs> I know New York City. If I made her an actress in L.A. and I was describing L.A., I was like, no, I've never been to L.A. <laughs> so I don't want to I don't want to piss off the L.A. people like you don't know L.A. We're not like that. <laughs> so anyway, I find playwriting to be better. <laughs> but there is one person missing. One person that you wish to have at your side, separated by centuries. Especially since I'm writing about our adventures. Your beloved pirate captain, Ed. <laughs> he forced to leave back in the 18th century after the portal closed. Where when you were last with him. You were celebrating your victory with him on a ship after defeating Admiral Francis Cochrane. Oh, I got a text. It's from Bob. <laughs> he can't help but smile at the acid like face of him. <laughs> Now, <laughs> I somewhat, you know, I pretty much based the location of this museum on West 81st Street, which is where the American Museum of Natural History is, and um, that's like my favorite part of the city. I've been going there since I was a kid. Oh. As you're about to enter, you're stopped. Hey, there's Bob. <laughs> so, um, you know, from Soho to West 81st Street, it's probably like a 30-minute cab ride. <laughs> Which is pretty, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, MC didn't want to take the subway because, uh, well, you know, the MTA has delays and swiping your Metro card is just fucking annoying. <laughs> and take the compass at night. But the security cameras, Bob, when I come back to the present, I'll be caught. <laughs> well, and this is my first choice. I want to show Edward what this time is like. Oh. <laughs> Don't make me valid. <laughs> Bob groans. Now, here is where we have our first, quote-unquote, diamond choice. So, as again, it's outlined in gold, but no diamonds, because everything is free. So, let's do it. Bob is very sneaky. He's very sneaky. He doesn't really, I mean, even, you know, <laughs> even in the first book, he don't know what the fuck is going on with him.
Ooh. It's mine. Bob goes in. That's my cue. I'll tackle Bob or shout. Let's tackle Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I know it's part of the plan. <laughs> then get off me! <laughs> Bob pulls a hammer out of his pants. Oh, man. <laughs> Where else is he gonna store the hammer? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh, the compass. I'm in the past. Where am I? <sighs> Probably like change in a back alley or something <laughs> with Bob standing guard. <laughs> I want to thank you. <laughs> Listen, as much as a pain in the ass as he is, and as much as a, an immutinous dick, MC does have some manners. <laughs> <laughs> Um, another thing is we, of course, obviously we are going to mention that the crew is larger, but this is where as the reader, you're just going to have to use your imagination because again, we're a, we're a small team, so we just don't have time to make so many sprites and add their lines and everything like that. There is everybody! And of course, if you didn't have uh, the parrot, Kenny, Jonas, you, you know, um, you know, they wouldn't appear. And of course, um, your Ed would be in front, and if you chose Charlie, she would be in front, and same thing with Ollie. So, let's go. Oh... Ollie, Ollie, what are you doing? Hi, Charlie. <laughs> she came back. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> so, we have everybody. Oh. Yes, it's me. <laughs> I missed you so much. You have no idea. <laughs> Bob helped me. <laughs> I'll, what should I do? Um, uh, I'm going to actually kiss him tenderly because kissing him passionately is something that I just kind of like to keep private. <laughs> <laughs> but still <laughs> oh Henry <laughs> old navy uniform it's like Old Navy uniform. It's like he got a uniform at Old Navy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Ali. He's a good man. Ali's a good man. He just, you know, when you're blindsided by what you were brought up with, and we're going to really explore that with Ali, that how conflicted he is with what he grew up with in his new life, so... <laughs> we have a reason why Ollie's the first mate, not Charlie. Um, but we don't, uh, you know, spoiler alert, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think I'm... <laughs> um, old faces and new. Oh, feed her some seeds. How could you not? <laughs> oh, Edward. Oh, Edward. You mean you want to take me on a date? <laughs> a romantic dinner. A show. It's courting. <laughs> oh, what does Ed want to show me? <laughs> what does Ed want to show me? <laughs> Spend some time catching up with Ed. Learn about his secret talent. And finally exchange those special words. Have dinner with Ed. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so let's see. Where did you get the new crew? <laughs> so what is it you want to show me oh you have other talents <laughs> Oh, that, if that glitched, that was my mouse. Um, you know, these Mac mouses are just so fucking weird with, you know, just how you touch them and everything. But anyway. Yeah, see, that was my mouse. So somehow, like, if I slowly bring my finger back, it just rolls back and just goes back to the last choice. So anyway. What happened, Ed? Oh, oh no. Smallpox. We haven't had smallpox since the 70s. Um, I guess when, I think we eradicated that. <laughs> we eradicated that thanks to vaccines. My mother died a few years ago. We're, in this book, we're going to explore a little bit about absent mothers. Um, because we know Charlie has an absent mother. And she's dealing with that too.
New decorations. Slightly smirking at the trends. What are you smirking about? Yeah, it's me. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Ooh, new cook. I'll have the roast, <laughs> especially if it's rare. I can't eat fish. I know it's a, I'm a pirate and I can't eat seafood because of the smell. Stew is nice, but I'm going for the roast. <laughs> nice and rare. <laughs> How do you like the new artwork? It's great. I wonder where Tilly got all of it. I did. What do you mean you did? You raided a ship with art? <laughs> Where did you get it? Who knows? Who gives out a hearty laugh? Miss Greyjoy, how I miss the way you amuse me. <laughs> oh my god. Ed the artist. <laughs> Ed is an artist. <laughs> Since when did you become an artist? When? <laughs> you never told me this. <clears throat> you know, pirates did have long voyages. And a lot of times... It wasn't like in the novels or the movies. It was just really boring, <laughs> you know, just kind of waiting for a ship to come to raid, you know. That's what I've I've heard. Oh, Edward. Oh, Edward. Oh my god, Edward. Oh, Edward. <laughs> oh, Edward, your, your romantic side is showing. <laughs> Only you are able to bring it out. Oh, Edward. You're as charming as ever, Edward. You really are. You're so charming. Oh. And he's happier, too. He's happier. Edward, I love you. I love you. I have to so glad to tell you. Oh my god, I've been waiting two years. Two fucking years. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. This is bad news. Uncle Richard. <laughs> and their ship is the name The Vengeance. <laughs> kind of ironic. Oh. We we have more of a backstory of Ollie's family. Besides his father. Oliver. We need a plan. <laughs> we need a plan. Oh boy. 
and we'll get help. Oh, Bob, where did you come from? Where did you come from, Bob? He just appears. <laughs> you know, he's kind of like Kenny from South Park. Um, you know, how he dies all the time. And then there was a season, I forget which season it was, but there was a season where he dies and he doesn't show up for the rest of the season. And then toward, and then at the end, he shows up. And then they're like, Kenny, where were you? And he was like, oh, I was just hanging around or something. That's Bob. <laughs> That's Bob. Oh, that parrot. That burb. Yeah, Nirvana remembers. Ugh. Thank you for protecting Mama Nirvana. <laughs> Mama Nirvana. <laughs> he did. I mean, he did. Now, we've collected our first ally. Throughout the book, of course, if this was a real choices book where we were making money, they would be diamond options. But since we know, oh, if people just have the option to choose it, of course they're going to choose the free option. We're going to have little challenges for you to uh, collect things. So be up for the challenges and there will be a walkthrough both with <laughs> with the video and a downloadable PDF. So don't worry. Oh, Ed has a proposition. For me? Edward? What is it? What is it? The compass in Robert's hand swirls into a vision of an angered man in a 21st century living room. Who is this man? Oh! 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 Oh, shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! Dad! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! And how did you see your father? How does your father... How is your father seeing all of this? Holy fuck! <laughs> so, of course, save your game, follow us on Tumblr, and we'll have all that, and I'll show you where we save our games. Of course, you go to the load section, and here are just all the options and everything like that. So anyway. All right. So that is the end of the demo. <laughs> I will see everybody later. <laughs> <laughs>